Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing you a video for Insurgency Sandstorm Weapons. Today we're going to be covering the M4A1, and I'm going to show you guys some really good gameplay that I had for a hardcore checkpoint with, uh, we got Odin and Man Named Nobody here will be in the gameplay for this one. So I ended up going 50 and 1 for this hardcore checkpoint. Really, really good gameplay here, um, showing off how good the M4 is in this game for 5 points. So we're going to go ahead, I'll show the build. Check out the weapon recoil, and then we'll show the gameplay, and I'll go into some real-life information about the weapon itself. So, first off, you see the operator here looking really, really nice. Nice little Delta-esque type loadout here for the operator. Going to the weapon, we're going to be running, first off, for the Peacemaker camo on this. If I go ahead and take this off so you guys can see what it looks like at base. And then we have the Midnight Blue, Peacemaker, Two-Tone, and the Universal Digit digital which looks really really good which i probably need to buy that one because that one looks really nice but the peacemaker has a nice like wear and tear look to it which i really like on it you can see the wear and tear on the magazine the pistol grip buttstock buffer tube everything like that and the barrel as well so we'll go ahead and do the peacemaker now this weapon you can see here costs five points and this is available for a few different uh slots for our class types i believe it's we don't i'm here on the rifle range so you have it for most of the class types besides i believe breacher and demo i want to say and obviously sniper and gunner so we'll go ahead for the m4 five points there first attachment is going to be the optic for this gameplay i like to run the holographic going to be only a one point optic however another, another really good one i think is a two times flip is also really really good based on the map you're on if you're going to be doing some sort of long range uh engagements where you need to hit some headshots at range you can do the two times flip as well so we'll go with the standard holographic here just to save on that point Barrel will just stay with the base barrel here. You also have a flash hider for one point. You have the compensator and suppressors both available for three points. Under barrel attachment, my main go-to for most of these is going to be the aiming grip or even the recoil grip. I would recommend either or. So for this one, we'll just run the aiming grip. However, the recoil grip is going to be really good, especially if you're going to be uh, dumping consistently. However, the aiming grip, once you practice the recoil, it's pretty easy to control this weapon. So we'll go ahead with the aiming grip for three points. Go ahead and select that. Now, for our side rail, we'll go ahead and do the Peck 15 here on the top rail. So, even though it's a side rail attachment, it's going to go on that top Picatinny, and then we'll have our grip on the lower Picatinny there as well. So, we have that Peck 15, PEQ 15 right there on the top mount Picatinny, and it's just, you'll see, just perfectly mounted, so it's not going to get in the way of our holographic or our EOTech there. So, we'll go ahead and select that, and that is our M4A1. You can see there, very, very nice looking. So, if you're not familiar with the M4A1, we have the safety there above the trigger guard, just to the rear. You have the bolt release there above the mag well as well. Magazine injection as well. Uh, the charger handle here right behind the optic right there. Then you have the forward assist is that thing sticking out there on the right hand side right above or I guess below the charging handle. Then we have our ejection port there on the right hand side as well. So that's our M4A1. We have a sliding uh, like car 15 type uh buttstock here on this which is adjustable um i actually have one of those as well so really nice looking build go ahead and back out you're also going to be running for here for this i have the desert eagle uh obviously you can't do that in an actual game because you won't have enough points typically i'll just run something like a, a makarov and then we'll just run uh typically i think in the gameplay i'll run something like uh light carrier and then we'll do uh typically heavy armor so that's our operator looking really good there for our delta type loadout go ahead and spawn and we'll have to re-grab that just because it didn't load so there we go let's go ahead and we'll check out the recoil for this weapon in full auto and we'll check out the recoil patterns not controlling and controlling the weapon so pretty easy to control i'm just gonna let this thing rip i won't control the the recoil at all so you can see they're gonna be a straight vertical climb not too bad and then if we go ahead and we'll try and control this one so pretty easy you can obviously make that a little bit better i wasn't pulling down really as hard as i would need to but not too hard to control here there you go that's pretty much more accurate you can see the the reload like that if we go ahead and we'll mag dump and do a do a quick reload here throw the mag good to go bolt release awesome ready to go so that is our M4A1. You can see they're just really nice looking weapon. Laser off. And obviously we have full auto and single fire options here available. So that's the M4A1. Jump into the 
uh, gameplay here that you'll see for Hardcore Checkpoint. Now, again, this we're running this on Summit, I believe it is. And I'm going to be running Observer, man, and nobody's going to be running Commander. And I think we have Odin as a Sniper, I want to say he's running for this particular gameplay, or a Gunner. I believe he was a Sniper in this gameplay. But, again, I end up going 50-1 and one here. And at the very end, the last objective push, I'll try and cut out the the bits of the middle that are a little slow for Hardcore. But uh, going to be a little bit of a longer video, probably, just because I want to show you guys some unedited as much unedited gameplay and show how raw and, and good hardcore is um so feel free to fast forward through that but i'll try and cut out the slow parts but the uh there's especially on the very last objective here everyone's dead and and man and nobody and myself need to get in there i'm i'm observer he's commander we need to get in there and cap that to get everyone to respawn and uh we just approached it perfectly him and i make a really really good commander and observer team um i'll be the observer he can he's better at dropping ordnance and things like that so i let him do that but the m4a1 you can see in the gameplay gonna be really really good we're gonna do a lot of full auto fire in here as well and just take out a lot of enemies and breaching and clearing too it's gonna work out really well so the m4a1 some real life information about this i typically go over in these types of videos so obviously 4.556 by 45 nato this was put into service in 1994 and it was in development from 1982 through 1993 now if anyone saw the movie black hawk down and maybe read the book like myself as well really good book highly recommend it so operation gothic spear or serpent spear i always i always mix up those ones um but again, in that movie, you'll notice a lot of M4 looking rifles. However, those are mostly CAR 15s. There were M4s that were, or XM4s that were in trial with, I believe, Delta Forces and Green Berets and, and basically Special Forces at the time. So you, there were M4s in the field being tested by Special Operation Forces, but mainly the uh, last militarized oper operation, uh, that being depicted in Black Hawk Down, uh, a lot of those guys were using CAR 15s, that being a Colt. Uh, AR-15 shorter barrel with it. I believe the CAR-15 was a 14 and a half. So that was the predecessor to this, the M4. And the M4 put in service in 1994 after being in development for a little bit over 11 years. Unit cost going to be $700 for the average cost. Production was 1987 through present. Number of units built has been 500,000. And again, that's just of the M4A1. Obviously a lot of uh, Western rifles mimic the style of the M4A1. They're basically, uh, I guess, enhanced versions or di di semi-different versions of the M4, M4A1 platform, that AR-15 style platform. Uh, variants for the weapon, there's a lot of different variants here. We have the M4A1, the Mark 18, Mod 0, CQBR, Mod 1. Then there's also, obviously, things like um, salt mod kits, which is similar to uh, salt mods. Um, Similar to the market team, which is like a block a block two of the salt mod, essentially. Then obviously we have uh, in, more enhanced versions like the HK416. Um, not obviously not an M4, but a more enhanced version. But for the M4A1 here, the mass in real life is going to be 6.43 pounds or 2.92 kilograms when empty. When it's loaded with that 30 round stenag mag of the 556 by 45 NATO, it's going to bump it up to 7.75 pounds or 3.52 kilograms. And again, that's a 30 round stenag mag of 556 by 45 millimeter NATO. The length of the weapon is going to be 33 inches with the stock extended or 29 with the stock retracted, which will be applicable for this one that we have here in the game. The barrel length is going to be 14 and a half inches or 368 millimeters. Cartridge, as we mentioned, is that 5.56 by 45 NATO. You also have the action for this weapon is going to be a gas-operated rotating bolt, stoner expanding gas design, rate of fire, 700 through 950 round per minute. And then the muzzle velocity is going to be 2,970 feet per second. And that's going to be firing the M855A1 round. There's a bunch of different rounds available for this. We have the M8... M855A1, the M855 round, the M193, M995, and uh, I believe that should be it, if my memory serves correctly, but they're all going to perform relatively similar as far as velocity goes. M995 would be more of your armor penetrating type round, and the M855A1 is also a very good round for the M4. Those little Tarkov reference there, if anyone plays Tarkov, knowing the ammo type. The effective firing range is going to be 500 meters or 550 yards. The feed system for this weapon is, as I said, 30 round uh, Steneg mag or a box mag. You also have the option in the game to bump it up to, I think it's a 40 or a 45, and you also have a 50 round drum available. I don't really use the extended mix too much. I believe it's a 50 round drum, and then you have a 35 round option. So 30, 35, and 50, I want to say, is what it is. Maybe it's 30, 
40 and then 50 round drum. So you guys can correct me down below if I'm wrong there. Now, you also have a lot of different variants. As I said, the M4 modular weapon system, the MWS, the M4A1, the Mark 18 CQBR, close quarters battle rifle, or uh, battle rifle? I can't remember. Close quarters something rifle. I always mix that one up. You have the enhanced M4, the Armos LLC M4, and then you obviously have a lot of other des uh, designs, things like the the uh, salt mod, block one, block two, a lot of things like that. You also have, um, in the ISMC version of this game, there's a lot of different, uh, I believe you have the Daniel Defense M4, and like I said, there's a lot of different similar type weapons. If you look at the, uh, if you reference Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, you have the M13 or the Sig Sauer Virtus Patrol, Rattler, you also have the um, low visibility assault weapon, those are all the SIG platform, then you have the um, the Salem Arms Industries Gray Rifle, so a lot of those weapons built off of that AR-15 type platform, beautiful, beautiful weapon, and again, it comes in a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of different accessory kits, I believe there's over 90 plus different uh, upgrades that have been made to this weapon to bring it up into the modern era, and again, it's been tentatively uh, planned to be replaced multiple times, almost replaced by at one point, the XM8. Another time, the Scar Light or the Mark 16. But eventually, the M4 went undergo went through all these different upgrades, like the Salt Mod Block Ones, Block Twos, things like that, in order to bring it up to the modern day spec. And it's still around today. And here we are again. Uh, another next generation squad weapon system project is in. In process right now to be replaced again with uh, a 6.8 millimeter rifle so we're just gonna have to see what happens and if this thing ever does get fully phased out which is never going to fully happen but have to see what happens let me know down below what you guys think of the m4a1 carbine here in the game the m4a1 and if you're enjoying the content and you like the channel again we cover a lot of things here sandstorm call of duty modern warfare warzone tarkov world war three a um, bunch of different games a little bit of battlefield here and there if you're enjoying the content, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Plenty more coming, especially with Modern Warfare 2 coming up later this year and Warzone 2. So let me know what you guys think down below. Enjoy the gameplay. Till next time. Buffering Gaming, out. In here. In here. I hear him. Reloading. Come in, look. I think he's low. Multiple enemies low. We took Echo. Oh, it's clear. Multiple coming inside. Hey, D. Losing echo. Drones. Repositioning. Lots of ordnance for uh, next objective. Roger that. Oh my god, they're all in the rear. Loading, loading. What are you doing? Just keep on. Just you, me, Odin. Gotta be just you. Go, move! I don't know where the shots are coming from. I can't move. Copy. Just stay where you are. Copy, there's enemies in there, I think so. I'm peeking garage. Friendly, friendly. I hear it more of them, uh, southwest, south somewhere. But they might be upstairs. Picked up a shotgun. 
Either that or they're down the hall in the back. Let me peek this quick, we'll see. I'm approaching now. Got him. Good job. Good job, oh my god, he almost murdered you. Second floor. This is Observer. Get the gunship over here. We're gonna need it. Observer. Come on, come on. Got it. Don't be stupid. Spread it okay. Dark drops clear. Guys, okay, better get low. Those are rockets to my head. Up. Yeah, we got a hold of Copy. Okay. Hostiles. Thank <laughs> you. 